This video is a long time coming. You see, I have been having some conversations with a few of you and a lot of you are always asking me, how do I get it all done? Now, this is a question that I'm gonna ask myself as well because sometimes I often wonder how the hell I do it all as well. You see, besides running an online business, I'm also a mom to two little ones. I have a five-year-old and a soon-to-be three-year-old. I'm a wife. And I'm a cardiovascular technologist, so I still work my hospital job. I only work three or four days a week, but it isn't something that I plan on giving up or replacing. So how the heck do I get it all done? Now, big disclaimer is, I'm just gonna put it all out there that there are often times where I don't get it all done. And in fact, the day that I'm recording this today, it's a Sunday, and today is one of those days where I procrastinated this long list of things that I wanted to get done, and here I am trying to get things done on a Sunday, when my family is home, my little one is currently napping right now and I sent my husband out with our oldest to go get some Slurpees just so I can record this video. So I'm just gonna put that out there that looks are deceiving and ultimately you are in charge as the CEO, as the business owner, you are in charge of what you get done and what you put out there. So in today's video, I wanted to give you some productivity hacks that I follow so that I do get most of my work done in a week. And if you're a busy person with many life duties, you can definitely implement some of my own personal hacks that I've discovered along the way. So keep watching. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are new to this channel, my name is Caitlin Redding and I run a coaching business where I teach people how to increase their sales and how to automate their business through funnels. I also run courses, so I still have courses that are running in the background of my business while I'm working privately with my clients so that people are still learning how to bring in more leads using marketing techniques like Instagram, social media marketing, email marketing, all of those types of things so that we can convert it over into sales using automated funnels. So if you are new to this channel, definitely hit that subscribe button because every week on Sundays, I post a video that's gonna teach you exactly that. So it's going to be really good for you busy people out there too because I'm teaching you how to automate your business and hint, hint, that will be one of my productivity hacks that I have coming up for you. And with that said, I also do have a free training that teaches you how to create consistent cash flow in your business in five steps. These five steps will teach you how to create a funnel in your business so you too can automate your enrollment. So if you want access to that free training, all you have to go to the description below this video and go and register for the training and I'll see you over there. Now let's get into some of my productivity hacks that I have honestly learned along the way. Now it hasn't been easy in once and I have definitely gotten quicker at some of these tasks. But my most important one for you is definitely to set boundaries. I've had to learn this, especially at the beginning of my business, because at the beginning of your business, you're so excited about all the things you're doing, you're creating and you're building, that it can easily kind of run over into your daily life. So definitely set boundaries with your business and with your life and all the other hats that you wear. So for example, for me personally, I do not do any business from the hours of 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Because I have little kids, so yes, they go to bed early. However, they're very much so hands-on. So I just remove any expectation of myself of getting any kind of work done, posting on social media or anything between those hours. On the bonus side, uh, my family gets me present 100% of the time with them right until they go to bed, and then I can pick up where I left off if I do so want to. Now, some other boundaries I've put on myself and my business is that when I'm actually at my hospital job, at my daytime job, I really do not try to do any work on my breaks. And the reason why is that the way that my head works anyway is I like to categorize things and put them in buckets. And when I'm trying to do put on too many hats at one time, I confuse myself and my productivity goes way down. So again, that's gonna lean into another productivity hack I have for you coming up about setting expectations. But again, I just really put on one hat at a time and play the role that I meant to 
at that time. Now, the second hack for you is something that was actually told to me. And ever since I heard it, I was like, a light bulb went off and I'm like, how come I didn't think about this sooner? And that is just knowing that your list will never get done. You'll never be able to really fully complete your list. Just changing that mindset around your to-do list has totally just kind of taken the pressure off of myself and feeling like I haven't been as productive when I, in reality, I actually was very productive. So just because you're not getting everything done in a day that you maybe wanted yourself to do, um, doesn't mean that you're not productive. It's about taking those steps and keeping the momentum going, keeping that ball rolling. So for me in my business, now I kind of set a running tally, a running to-do list. And then when I have the day off or when I have the moment to really work in my business, I look at that list and I pick a few items that I know that I'll be able to accomplish. Whether they're simple, whether they're long, it doesn't matter. It just makes me feel better about myself from knocking some items off and knowing that there's still things to do. And just, again, that mind shift around not being able to complete everything because you are the entrepreneur. There's an endless list of things to do. That totally changed the game for me. So um, if you're hearing that for the first time, let that sink in and just know that you're never gonna be able to check off the entire list. So just keep working, keep that ball rolling. Now, my other productivity hack for you, I'm sure you've heard it before, is about batching. Now, batching can mean different things to different people. The way that I interpret batching my content, batching my work, whatever it is. So let's categorize posting on social media like this. So you're writing your caption would be A. Filming a video would be B. Finding your hashtags would be C. Posting would be D. And then when you go to batch, what you're doing is you're batching all A's, so writing all the captions for all the posts, you know, doing all B's, all C's, and all D's, and whether you batch A's one day, B's the next day, or however that works for you, that's kind of my interpretation of batching. Now, I definitely do batch. However, I've also learned with myself that if I make it too big, I get really overwhelmed and I completely shut down with that overwhelm. So what I do is I pick some easier tasks that I can batch, say like filming videos. Filming videos for me is something that I love to do and I know that there are people who don't totally love filming videos, but it is easy for me. However, not every day do I look this way or look ready to go onto a video. So. I set out the day that I want to film videos. I pick only two YouTube videos at a time that I want to film and maybe some reels or if I'm doing some content for my course. Whatever it is, that's the day that I'm getting it done. I get ready for the day. I get video ready and I go. Now, kind of to rewind a little bit about filming or batching YouTube videos, I used to try to do four at a time, getting a whole month's worth of videos at a time. Now, if that is something that you enjoy doing or it's easy for you to do, for me what happened is that I wasn't putting as much quality into my videos because I was just focusing on getting it done versus really focusing on, on that video. Plus, it also was very overwhelming. It took a lot out of me, a lot of energy to be on video for four videos at a time. So now I just do two videos at a time, two YouTube videos at a time, and I do it more often. And that is something that works really well for me. So in summary, when it comes to batching, you have to pick out a pattern that works the best for you. Just because somebody says or recommends one thing doesn't mean that it's gonna work for your lifestyle for your personality, for your human design, whatever it is. So you really have to allow yourself to figure out what does that look like for you. Now, along the lines of batching, I'll just kind of let you into my world and what that looks like, say, for social media. So I actually don't schedule my social media content anymore. I used to, but again, it was so overwhelming to get so much of that done ahead of time. And then it always felt like, I wasn't having a break from that amount of work. Like it was like, oh my gosh, I finally got it done, but it's already here again. And I got to sit down and sit then all that time again, thinking, creating all that kind of stuff. So now what I do is I spend some time, usually on Sunday evenings, because I'm planning out my week that day anyways, where I go and I just plan content ideas, whether it's a reel, whether it's a post carousel, um, what's the theme 
all that kind of thing. In fact, I have a spreadsheet that I teach people inside the Stop the Scroll Academy um, Phase 1 Ground Camp. I go through the spreadsheet and I teach people how to use that spreadsheet. So it makes it so much simpler. And in fact, I spend like maybe half an hour planning out my content and then the day of that I'm supposed to post that content, I actually just do it in the spot. So when you see me posting on social media, I literally just hit post right then and there. And again, that's just what is works the best for me. I really wish that I could have it all done ahead of time, but it just doesn't work. And I've tried it too many times and I'm just enjoying what I'm doing right now. We'll see if it changes. Okay. So my Fourth productivity hack, oh, this one is a real good one, and it is lowering your expectations. Especially if you are a mom or you have children of your own, um, this was a big one because your life is ebbs and flows and you can definitely not predict when that's gonna happen. And so by just lowering my expectations on what I'll get done in a day, when things are gonna come out, has just allowed me to have a little bit more freedom in my business and it just gave me more wiggle room and it allowed me to really put the play back into my business, the creativity into my business and have a lot more fun with it. Before when I had these, you know, hard deadlines, all these, you know, I had to meet such and such by such deadline and do all of this in a day. It just really made it more rigid for me. And if for whatever reason I wasn't getting those things done or hitting those deadlines, it really did take a big hit on my mindset. And now I just live a little bit more loosely in my business, like I said, and I just allow the deadlines to come. And the thing that I learned with allowing or lowering those expectations is that it's not that you're putting less quality out there. You are in control. You are the entrepreneur. You get to set those deadlines. And in fact, most people don't even know that you have a deadline until things have already come out. So you're not failing anybody. Maybe if you have a team of people working with you or for you, yeah, there's definitely going to be some deadlines that you're going to need to meet. But again, as the entrepreneur, as the CEO, you are in control of all of that. You get to say when things are due, when they get need to get done. So just kind of allow yourself to relax on that and just know that it will get done and just have some more fun with it. Now, number five is one that is probably very well known is to delegate tasks that are not worth your time or that are worthy of your investment, really. So delegating different tasks in your business, maybe it's your social media content, maybe it's for me, for example, I have somebody else editing my YouTube videos because that's a huge, although I know how to do it and I love doing it, it's a lot of hours in my week and I get to hire that, I get to pay for somebody, I get to invest in somebody to do that for me and I make them happy as they make me happy and it's a win-win. Now, not all the time am I delegating tasks. Sometimes I delegate tasks off to a team member and sometimes I take it back. It just really depends on where I'm at and what I'm doing. I am a solopreneur, so I don't have team members with me. I contract out some work, but not all the time is there work that's contracted out if that makes sense. So definitely you have to learn what you're worthy of delegating and where that is, because it is hard to give up a little bit of control in your business, um, but the time that you get back is always gonna be worth it. Now, the last two tips are gonna be my favorite tips. This sixth productivity hack is probably my favorite because it is something that is so beneficial to me and something that is a work in progress. And that is just being really aware of how I'm spending my time. So for an example, when I'm scrolling social media, I'm actually doing it with the purpose of whether it's finding inspiration, finding audios for my next reel or whatever. I'm not actually scrolling just to consume, just to numb out the time. Now, disclaimer, <laughs> I still do that and I not always good at that habit. Um, 
and is something that I always am working on. However, I do try to make sure that when I am scrolling on social media, it has a purpose to help alleviate some pressure later on. So for example, when I'm planning out my reels, I watch other people's reels, and if there's an audio that I like that's trending or that's catchy, or it inspires something in me, I save it. And then what I'll do is I'll head over to my ClickUp and I'll just write a few notes about that audio and what kind of came across, and then I'll go back and keep scrolling. And I usually like to do that in the bath because I love baths and now I've like hit two birds with one stone. Now the last tip is a tip that I teach and that is to automate your business. Automate, automate, automate. The more that you automate, the more time you get back and the more passive income you are making. So for an example, a big system that I have um, that automates is my enrollment. So people enrolling into my courses or my coaching programs, I have that process all automated. So when I actually have to show up, when I actually have to trade my time in, is you know getting on the call with my private clients or I mean, working in the course, if I'm working the course, which is done, so it's a huge benefit to me. But sometimes I want to jump on a call with somebody, especially if they have questions. That is obviously me trading time for my money, I guess. That takes up my time. I do have to go jump on these calls with people, but I enjoy that. And because the rest of my business is automated, I have the capabilities of doing that and that is worth it to me. So automate as much as you can and if you want to learn how to automate your enrollments too, just head down to the bottom of this video and watch that free training because that's exactly what I'm gonna teach you in that training. I teach you the five steps to creating an automated enrollment system using funnels and these five steps are gonna help you create some consistent passive income in your business which is ultimately our goal. So. There are some of my productivity hacks that I have for you that have helped me get things done as an entrepreneur, as a mom, as a wife, as a cardiovascular technologist, as somebody who's really, really busy, but still moving the needle forward in my business. With that said, guys, um, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to go check out some of these other videos. Hit the thumbs up button if this was helpful to you and hit that notification bell so you're notified every Sunday when I post a new video. With that said, guys, I'll see you here next week. Bye.